Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to our um, egg catching system um, uh, tutorial. In today's uh, video, we're going to be making uh, the pets show up in the slots. So, this tutorial should be pretty easy, and uh, let's get right to it. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into one of the frames. So, you'll see that we're just going to the first frame, and we're going to insert a local script. Okay. And we're going to do script. We'll do local player equals game dot players dot local player. Okay. okay, and we're gonna do um. Uh, we need to have a uh, image show up here actually, and the way we'll do that is we can actually just. Have, I think we already have. Uh, things. Let me just. Check if we have these. Yeah, we have these two viewport frames. Okay. So we're gonna copy these two viewport frames and we're gonna put them in uh, in replicate storage. And we're gonna call this. Actually, you know what? We'll just have them instead of replicate storage. We'll just have them inside of. This frame. No, not this frame. We'll have it inside these scrolling frames, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is set both of them, okay, to uh, false. Actually, no, before we set the false, you're gonna wanna drag them in to uh, one, of, one of the frames and then size them, okay? So you're gonna wanna need to do this and size it up. Size it so it's equal to the frame. Okay, and there we go. We're gonna set the background transparency to one. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of the uh, fifty percent. So there we go. Actually, you no, know we'll keep fifty percent and then get rid of the common, and then rename this fifty percent to dog. No, we'll keep the comment and then we'll rename this percent dog. Okay, dog and then comment. Okay, and once we have it sized up, we can bring it back into our scrolling frame and set the visible to false. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing and make sure all the viewport frames are the same size, or else this will not uh, this will not work. And we also need it so this these aren't fucked up. Hold up. You know what? We're just gonna wow this. My bad, guys. This I think the uh, these got messed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and then, but you know what, we're just going to go grab these and move them down a bit. I'm going to grab these and move these down a bit. All these up to fit the same size.
Okay, there we go. Okay, we're back on track. Anyways, let's go ahead and scale this to meet the um, frame. Oh, okay. All right, and then we rename this text level up here to cats. Okay, and there we go. We're gonna set the background transparency of this to one. And there's our cat. Okay, and then this is this viewport frame. We're gonna drag to the scrolling frame, and then you'll see that it gets big. Don't worry, just own it. Okay, take this logo script, and now that we've got the player. We're gonna do, uh, we'll just do, um, let's go ahead and get the pets. So we'll do local pets equals player dot, uh, player find, player find first child pets. Get children. Okay. Then we're gonna do four I V in pairs uh pets do okay and we get to get rid of them. okay okay and then we'll do if v dot name is equal to dog one because we want it to be the first slot uh and then we'll do them. We will do um. We'll do uh, script. Actually, we'll do okay, script dot parent dot parent. Then we have to make these two viewport frames uh, show. So we'll have this named dog, and we'll have this named cat. Right. And then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot dot dog dot visible equals true and then we actually actually wait oh my bad we have to clone it uh clone clone and then we need to do local dog clone equals all right we're gonna clone it and we're gonna do dog clone dot um dot uh dot parent equals script dot parent okay and then we need to do dog clone dot visible equals true okay so now, if we go ahead and hit play, we need to loop this actually. Right, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna loop this. So we'll do while wait do, and then we'll add an extra n, and then we're gonna format that document. Okay, and for some reason the UI keeps messing up so I'm not gonna worry about it but you can fix it on your own <laughs> okay so we're gonna go ahead and open egg and see if we can get a dog I'm gonna assume that wasn't a dog I can't really see because you guys are in but okay let's see if we have a dog okay we do have a dog and it is not showing so let's go ahead and fix why see why it's not showing Okay, if v dot name is equal to uh, is equal to dog one, then script dot parent dot parent dot dog clone, then dog parent script dot parent. I think I need to. I think I know why. It's because it's not. Wait, no. Okay, let's see if it uh, even gets added. If we have a dog, please be dog. Okay, good. That's a dog. Okay, let's see if it got added. Uh, here. Okay, so it didn't even get added. Okay, so that means that the script must not be uh, running. So let's see what's going on. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just change this. Okay, we're gonna keep this, and we're gonna do uh, get rid of this, and then we're gonna do if uh, if player dot player find first child. Actually, no, we'll, we'll do player dot pets find first child. Yeah, 
find first child. And we'll do dog wo dog one. Then okay, and then here's your end. So if it finds it, it will clone it. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if this works. All right, so as you see, our dog is here. Um, there is an issue though. Um, the dog is rotating. So let's go ahead and uh, fix that. So I think it's because we have some scripts in this dog right here. Okay, yeah, we do. So we're gonna go ahead and take those scripts out. Yeah, because we don't want it to be rotating. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, and this should fix that issue. So now our dog should be in there. You gotta have to dog first. Okay, and there's our dog, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, make it work for the cat now. Okay, so we're gonna do um, Okay, we need to make a check too. Uh, so we'll do local occupied equals. Do we need to make this? Uh, actually, no. Never mind. Local occupied equals false. Okay, and we need to set occupied equals true. And then we need to set if uh, and we need to do and and uh, occupied is not equal to true then and then we need to do and make an else if so else if player oh, we just copy this actually okay and then we need to change this to dog uh cat one and whatever one is is going to be our first slot that's why we put one so whatever the first one is and if you want you could do this by rarity like the rares, if you want, make a sorting. I might do that in the future. Okay, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna set to do and occupied not equal to true, and then set occupied to true either way. And if it's occupied is true, it's not gonna run any of this. Okay, and then we need to do uh, change that. Actually, no, we'll just do that. Actually, no, 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 no sorry, at clone. And now it should go ahead and um should go, should go ahead and put it in the thing. And we got a dog. Nice. And now if we get another pet. And you see, I think we just got a cat, hopefully maybe. You know we got another dog. Let's try and get a cat. And it's another dog. Please give me a cat. Okay, there we go. We got a cat. You'll see that it doesn't actually go in the thing here. So let's go ahead and make this automated so we don't have to change the script for every single thing. So to do that, we can go ahead and do uh, find first child. Uh, and then we're going to do um, to do cat and then dot dot script dot parent uh, dot name. Because we named them things, remember? So script the parent dot name. Okay. Um, if you have, uh, you you have to make enough. If you have multiple of the same pet, then basically, um, okay. So if you have multiple of the same pet, uh, you you basically need to have enough slots for your inventory space. So we're gonna have ten slots of inventory space because three times one, two, three, four, five, three times five, five, ten. Okay, we have fifteen slots, right? So we need to have 15 pet slots. So you need to have enough slots. You can't have like more pets than slots, if you know what I mean. Because then it messes it all up. So yeah. Okay. So um, now we have this. Uh, it will it will, it will be uh, fully automatic. So you don't have to have dog, dog changing everything. And we can also get rid of that. 
Let's see if it still works. Hopefully it should. Yep, still works, so you see? So we got our cat on common, okay? Now let's go ahead and make it so when you click it, the stuff shows up over here. So, um, we can just do this by doing uh, another script, because the script's already fine. Okay. And what we'll do is, in this script, we will just... Um, uh, since we want to we wanna access... Uh, this stuff we're gonna go ahead and do uh, make a, a bool value and we need to make we need to make a bool value and then we need to make a string value okay and this string value is going to be called pet and this bool value is going to be called occupied okay and we're gonna set local occupied uh, equ uh We'll go occupied equals, which we'll do local occupied bool, uh, bool equals script.parent.occupied, and then occupied, we'll do occupied bool.value equals false, okay? And then we need to change this stuff. Okay, so that's for our occupied, and then for our pet, we need to set, um, we need to do local pet string equals script.parent.pet. Okay, and then what we need to do here is pet string dot value equals, and then we need to do, uh, we'll just do, um, We'll just have the pet string dot value equal the dog, and then have this equal cat. So, yeah. Since you won't, none of them will run at the same time. Uh, you don't have to worry about this changing. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, work with. This other script now. We'll have local occupied. <clears throat> Actually, no, we'll just copy these and paste them here. Okay. And we're going to do if, actually, we'll do while wait do if occupied bool dot value is equal to true and uh, pet string uh, dot value oh dot value is equal to dog then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna do um we need to do a couple things so let's go ahead and not do this hold up okay so we need to show the image here and we need to change the name and the rarity so the image is in the pet image so we need to do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot we'll do pet preview dot pet preview dot pet image dot uh, dot pet image and we'll just duplicate the viewport there. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of this pet image, okay? And we'll we'll go ahead and take these two viewports and we'll paste them in the pet preview. Okay, and we'll make one visible and you'll see that it's way too big so you gotta scale it down. And you're gonna basically scale it up like that. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is add another frame inside here. We're gonna make both of these Z indexes five. So the frame is behind. 
Then we're going to make this like that. And then we're going to fit the cat inside. Okay, and then we need to make our corner on this frame. And this frame's color, we're just going to grab this color and make it a bit darker. Okay, and we're going to grab this frame and we need to make it a bit smaller than this. Okay. And we need to grab this frame and drag it in the middle. Then we're going to grab this cat and we need to size the cat to the frame. Okay, there we go, there's our cat, okay, and what we're going to do is get rid of these two, so it's just the fucking cat, and what we can do now is we can scale the cat up, okay, now we can make the cat, uh, we, got, we can make the cat not visible, we can make the dog visible, and we do the same thing for the dog, we scale it to this, and then we get rid of these two. And then we make the cat visible. And we make sure that the dog is scaled to cat. Like that. So now if we make the cat not visible, the dog actually you know what? We'll just scale the dog back down. Okay. There we go. Dog invisible, and there it is. Okay, we got our two things here. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and continue. I'm gonna do script up front, pet preview, and we'll do dot uh, dog dot visible equals true. Okay, and we need to do this same thing. Dot, uh, name, dot, text, name, dot, actually, what was the rename this to name, label, dot, name, label, dot, text, equals, dog. Okay. I'm going to grab this same thing and paste this here. And we need to change the name label from that to rarity. Change this to common. Perfect, right? Okay, so, um, script up parent dot mouse button. Actually, wait, we need to make it a button. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and make this a button. Make a button. And, uh, make it an image button. Actually, I don't want to make it a text button. And this text button needs to be the same size as this, but it needs to turn off auto button size or whatever, and make the background transparency 1, and make this transparency 1, 2. Okay. So then what we're going to do is take this script and put it inside of this button. And we need to put script up parent and we need to add extra parent to these. Okay. And then we need to do uh, uh, script up parent that mouse button one click connect function. And then add an end control A format selection. Okay. Uh, something needs to be there. Okay, that should fix it. Okay, so this will happen whenever it's clicked. So now if you go ahead and... Okay, I just realized we need to do some... Stuff. Okay, um, occupy equals script dot parent dot parent. Dot parent. Okay, that should fix that. 
Okay, and now if we go ahead and get ourselves a dog. Oh wait, I just realized we need a dog. Okay. Uh, hold up. Let's just uh, keep doing this until we get a dog real quick, because. I only made the script for the dog right now, so. It's another fucking cat, nice. Could just make a dog full value, but you know. This little dog's real good dog, and if we click it. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's figure that out. Let's figure out why. Because we need the button Z index to be five, I believe. Let's just do let's just uh on print click so we know that if it even clicks. So okay, it says clicked. I click it once and it clicks fucking 8,602 times. I think that's because I got low frame rate, probably. Something like that, maybe. Oh, it's because I have Huawei too. Okay. Let's figure out what's happening here. Okay. First, let's cut this out. If I could... Um... Okay. This probably... Is... If occupied, that value is equal to true. And pet string, that value is equal to dog. Let's see if those happen or whatever. There is a dog in the thing, because that would explain why it's not even working. So. Okay, let me just, just go to the server and then just here. Yeah, okay. Okay, there's still a cat in there. Nice. Let's go ahead and try and get a dog. Oh my god. Okay, there's our dog. Okay, let's go ahead and check if the... Okay, that's our issue. Okay. So now that we found our issue, let's go fix it. Okay, in our local script, we set if occupied bool is not. Oh, okay, this will do it. Okay, we need dot value on both of these. And we need it here too. Okay, now this should fix all the issues we were having, which is pretty good. All right, let's try and get a dog. Okay, that's a cat. Uh, I don't know why this game loves giving me cats, man. Okay, there's our dog, and you click it, and it says dog common. Boom. Pretty cool. All right. Um. Uh. Okay, so there's our dog common. Let's go ahead and make it. Uh, for the cat now and let's go ahead and do a couple of things too uh, let's go ahead and make this common all caps okay. and then what we're gonna do is make an else if then we're gonna copy all this equals cat and then okay I'm going to control A, format selection, 
copy all this, and the only difference we're going to make is set this to cat. We need this to cat. We need this to uncommon. And then what we need to do is we need to grab this rarity thing. And then dot image, uh, dot color. Actually, no, I think it's text color. I think it's text color three equals color three dot new. Actually, no, color three dot from RGB. And then we need to get the color in our billboard GUI. There it is. Okay. Boom. Perfect. So now if we if we get a cat, which it's probably gonna give me a dog now, because I guarantee that this game hates me. Okay, give me a cat, and you click it, cat on common. Boom. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this for every we're just going to go ahead now and we can go ahead and take this script button and these two and control c them and we're going to highlight every single frame and we're going to go ahead and paste them to select it, okay now um what we're going to do now is you will see that it's hope that the buttons okay yeah the buttons do go to the correct spots actually so we don't even need to do that so now it will uh spawn whatever pet into the frame so let's see there's our cat we got see cat on common okay it did not spawn them into the second frame so let's go ahead and figure out what's going on here oh it's because we probably got dog one Okay, you know what we're going to do actually is we're going to control Z, putting him in all the frames real quick, and we're going to edit this script. Okay, and let's go ahead and check. Alright, so we need to make a check. Um, so what we need to do is uh, do this, and we need to do else if uh, occupied bool dot value is equal to true, then... Okay, uh, we have to do and player, and then we need to do uh, player uh, this. And okay, so we need to do that and player whatever. And then we need to do this, uh, this thing here. And then we need to set the parent to script.parent.parent. Uh, you'll see that we have uh, options here. So what we're going to do is... Um, we need to do local new frame equals uh script dot parent dot name actually uh plus one actually no we need to do script dot parent dot name um wait I think we need to do plus one hold up let me just I I don't know I think you can't convert I think you can't convert this actually. It's gonna give me an error. I don't think you can convert a string. Oh wait, nope, never mind. Nice too. Okay, perfect. Um Okay. New frame equals script parent that name plus one. Okay. And then script dot parent dot parent. Alright. And then go we'll script dot parent dot parent and then we need to do this and then we need to do new frame. And we need to go ahead and set it in there. So we need to do, uh, we need to do scripts dot parent, script dot parent dot parent dot dog. Okay, let me set the parent and then, yeah, 
Okay, this is fine. This should work, actually. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. And paste. Just copy and paste it. And we got to find the cat. And then what we need to do here. Get rid of that. And we need to copy the cat one. Except for the parent. Let me change the cat clone. Cats. Okay. So, all right. As you see, everything is uh, fine now. We just have to get rid of one of these ends and then hit play. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, that's an issue. Um, we need to wait, I think. Oh, I know what we need to do. Okay, we need to make two bull values here. We need to call this one local is dog equals false. And then we need to do local is cat equals false. Okay, and then in here we need to set is dog. Actually, yeah, is dog dot value. Actually, wait, no, we need, uh, wait, no, we can actually just do uh, this pet string. Actually, you know what? We don't need this yet. Okay, we can do add uh, and pet string dot value is not equal to dog. And then what we can do is copy this, paste that, change that to cat. And I think this should actually fix it. Okay, there's our dog. And I just realized that we need uh, to do... Actually, we know what? Never mind, we don't need to do that yet. And we got our dog here. Okay, and this is an issue we need to fix. Okay, so we have a dog and we have a cat one. Okay, so we got a dog, okay, and we have that. I think we need to okay so what we need to do here is define the new frames thing so we need to do uh we need to define these both we need to do local new local new occupied equal script actually we need to do new frame Uh, we need to put it below equals script dot parent dot parent new frame dot occupied and then we need to do replace that new occupied okay and then we need to do local new pet String. So you need to do new string equals uh, the same thing. Just copy this. And just change this to the dot pet. Okay. And now we need to change this to new occupied and new string. And then we change these both. And then change. 
put that under the new frame. Okay, this should fix it. If it doesn't fix it, then we'll figure out what's wrong. But let's see if it does. Okay, the other issue is that we literally need to script in every single one of them. So uh, just copy all this, Control C, and then we need to close all these. And we'll accidentally paste it in the strokes. Copy that, paste into selected. Okay. Now let's see. We got our dog. Please work. Okay, there we go. So we have our dog and we got our cat. Okay, uh, I forgot to make it uh, not visible whenever you click on the other one, so we'll do that. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. We got cat too. Okay. Uh, we didn't actually make one for Cat 2, I think. Uh, oh, it's because Cat 2's already occupied. Okay, uh, I'll fix that in a second. Okay, I made Cat 3. Okay, so we have four pets, and it's displaying three. So let's figure out, uh, why that is. Let's go ahead and check our UI real quick. 